welcome to the most affordable hobby in the world, a train layout. <laughs> that may be a hot debate for a lot of you folks, but for me, this is an affordable thing that I can do rather than my RCs that I was doing in the past. My RCs was costing me quite a bit, as my RC construction buddies know, but I still like the hobby folks. With that being said, this can be afforded by just about anybody. Put a little money up here and there, and you have the money to go ahead and start buying you a train, a layout, and build it slowly in time. And of course, you don't have to build this all at one time. Duh. So with that being said, welcome to HO Power Train. So with that being said, guys, especially for the people that don't really know about train sets, train layouts, and model trains, um, of course, there's different scales of trains, like, you know, in scale, HO, and the list gets bigger and bigger. The bigger you get with your trains, the more expensive it gets. Anyways, this HO locomotive here, Union Pacific, cost me $325. Broadway Limited, I kind of was done with them, um, but I don't know. It, it's been running really well. I, I think I count my chickens early before they hatch, with that being said. So the most thing I hate to do on a layout is clean track. I just got done cleaning parts of it, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning this part, and we'll run this filter. So I got some alcohol here, and I'm wiping her down. And I know, guys, you want me to do my pond here. I'm gonna get to that. I got a lot to do, and um, I'm gonna get things going. Again, I'm just using alcohol here on, on a rag, and I'm wiping her down. Uh, I hate cleaning the bridge. I'm about to get me a cleaning car, guys. I have to order me one. Again, my layout, I'll order piece by piece because, of course, with bills and working and everything else, guys, to save and get a lot of this stuff. But at least it's not killing my butt. All right, let's go ahead and run our HO locomotive and talk about a few things. There she comes. I got the sound on her right now. She's chugging. I gotta get my smoke, uh, liquid smoke in. She goes running cars over. Yep, we can handle it. Oh yeah, see the tanks in the layout. I'm gonna get to that, guys. I'm not finished with it, but we're gonna do a part three on this, okay? For me, I'm loving the HO locomotive only because I can find trucks like this to go ahead and put on my layout in scale. You have to build your stuff with N-Scale, 3D print a lot of stuff, and um, it gets kind of old. So she's coming into Devil Mountain. Hopefully we don't have a dude around because I'm kind of shooting this off the hip here. Uh, the grade here, it goes, it goes into like a 2.5 to a 3% all the way up to a 4% grade. That's what I wanted to talk to you about, guys. In real life, I would like for you to go check out on YouTube. There she is. Uh, the Saluda grade in, I think it's North Carolina. Um, Saluda grade, it goes into a 4.5% grade in real life. I think that's a Norfolk rail. I'm gonna show you right here a clip of this in real life. And again, it's, they had to shut that railway down because the grades were too steep. But yeah, so those of y'all that are wondering, steep grades you can do, okay? Perfect. In North Carolina, guys, and watch the documentary, I think it's Delay and Block. And watch the documentary. And the documentary shows how those Norfolk engines were chugging up almost a 5% grade. I think it was the steepest grade in the country at the time. And I think it holds the record. She's, she's a rolling, beautiful. For those of y'all wondering that has a layout, especially HO, you can do a four and a half percent grade, it'll work. It's just, it depends on what you wanna do. There she goes. Beautiful. Coming over the trestle. Can't wait to have my water running in that trestle. Ah! 
So this week we didn't have a whole lot of progress due to the heat in here and I've been just been working and doing everything else. But I wanted to present this video to you and show you and talk to you specifically about that incline and on your grades. Uh, don't overthink your grades when, whenever you're doing elevations. You can do up to a 4.5% grade, guys. That helix in some parts are for four to four and a half, okay? So that's, that's my recommendations on my HO layout and I wanted to show you folks, okay? Alright folks, I'm going to leave you with that, and again, welcome to the most affordable hobby on the planet. I'll catch you in the next one.